Welcome to another Demarcation Media Mega Constructs Review. Today we're going to be taking a look at two Fred figures. We have the Halo Legends Fred on this side and the Halo Infinite Fred on this side. I want to compare these two, see which one is the definitive Fred figure, and see which one, you know, which one of these guys should have the top spot in your collection. So let's go ahead and jump in starting with the newer version of Fred from the Chopper Takedown. This version of Fred comes in a very light shade of blue, which is pretty darn accurate to the all the source material we've seen. It's kind of a nice metallic. There's some metallic flake in there. It looks really cool. And he has the 104 print on his chest, which is actually inaccurate, surprisingly. He shouldn't have that there. Uh, apparently, he does not have the number in Shadows of Reach, according to the new like Halo art book. So... I don't know why Mega went with that. Maybe they were going off of the Halo Legends version, kind of. I don't know. But he has it. It looks cool. So I'm fine with it being inaccurate in that regard. He's got some nice black print detail on the chest and up onto the shoulders. The head is done really well. We've got some black on either side. And then the visor is one of the nicest visors I've seen on recent figures. Really, it's kind of got like an extra gloss over it. And the edges are pretty darn sharp. That's what I like to see when it comes to visors. Um, he doesn't have any print like down on his legs. It's just the same pieces that we've seen on the Infinite Chief. Same groin armor, same thigh, same lower leg. That's uh, That was from the Series 1 Chief originally, I believe. And then his shoulders are shoulder pieces we've seen around for a long time. But Mega decided not to print on the knives for some reason. Um... Pretty disappointed about that. I think just some simple silver would have been perfect, made the knives pop. As it is, it kind of just looks like extensions of the armor itself, which is not correct. They are knives, but it's a, I don't know. I don't know what the thought process was behind leaving them blank. Maybe it was budget restraints. Maybe it was just pure laziness. I don't know. It looks weird, but the rest of the figure looks really cool. So I'm willing to excuse that one kind of minor thing. And here is Fred from Halo Legends. This guy appeared in the package, and he came in a uh, booster frame set that Mega did. Kind of, it was it was basically a set that was exactly pulled from the package. Fred and his booster frame for when they attack the Covenant cruiser in the very beginning. And this dude looks like a Halo hero figure. He has so much going on. He's got kind of a more it's like a gunmetal gray with a blue sheen. So he looks gray right off the bat. But when you look closer, you realize there's kind of a blue sheen. Like they put a blue flake in there, which is pretty cool. He has 104 printed on his chest as well as two white stripes. The knives on his shoulders are printed. They pop really nicely. No print down on the legs, but it's the same as what we see on the Series 1 Chief and Infinite Chief. And yeah, this is a really, really used set of armor now around the back we have the original like halo wars armor uh with the spine which looks really cool even though i think it's technically inaccurate the spine piece just looks so cool then the head is done pretty well there's no like extra black or anything but there's some white print on the top and then 104 on either side of the head um the visor is okay it's not the best visor i've seen it's a little faded it's a little like janky looking on the one side it's not bad i've definitely seen a lot worse um but it's not the best visor i've ever seen but yeah overall this dude is really really cool he's not even terribly hard to get these days which is great um and he obviously he matches with the series one chief who is really hard to get these days but we do have the uh halo legends kelly coming so that'll be a nice companion piece for this fred so now we've got the two figures side by side. Now, I'm not really considering the weapons in this comparison because the Chopper Fred just comes with the new Splazer. And I believe the Booster Frame Fred comes with an old style Splazer, maybe. I don't know. I don't feel like the weapons are a huge part of these figures in their presentation. Wow. Look at these guys. Side by side, they are like night and day. The contrast between the two is absolutely just over the top because the differences i mean we've got 
very, very light blue versus basically just gray. Now, at first glance, the new Fred definitely seems a lot more toyish. It is correct for him to have this color, but he's definitely a lot more toyish. This guy has the more gritty halo feel to him, especially with all the extra print and the printing of the knives. I mean, come on, Mega, why? Why did you leave the knives unprinted on the new Fred? It's such a minor amount of print, but it adds so much to the figure. Um, the big thing that the new Fred has over the old one is the visor print. The visor print on the new guy is a very dark orange, which is necessary. If you just poured it over this lighter gold to the lighter color, it would not provide such a nice contrast. But yeah, it's really, really sharp. You can see the difference, just how much the uh the visor has the hard edges and you can see the detail more whereas this one you know it kind of meanders a little bit it's not bad it just is what it is the numbers you can see the numbers on the new fred are a lot smaller um and the old fred actually doesn't have any of the black print up on the shoulders the new fred does and he doesn't have the black print in the chest here so they both kind of have their their ups and their downs the major downs for the new figure is the blue color while i really really like it does make him look kind of toyish and he doesn't have shoulder print uh, downside for the old fred is mainly that his visor isn't as good as it could be oh i didn't flip around to back you can see the difference between the back armors too mega basically just removed the spine from their mold you can even see where it used to be up there I'm not really sure why they decided to do that it's more accurate to infinite but i don't know why they didn't just make a new mold but yeah overall i think the booster frame fred is the better figure just in general because he's got some more print his colors are definitely more halo feeling and he just is a really really solid figure all around the head print really got me i was like i was absolutely shocked about that but the new Fred is by no means a bad figure. He's really, really solid. I like the light blue color a lot more than I was expecting to like that light blue when I first saw the images. And like I said, his visor is among the best that I've seen overall from any Spartan figure. It's just, he looks... I think really if there was silver on the shoulders to break up the kind of blanket blue or... Even black. Black would have been great, too. Just something to make him look less like his shoulders are just a chunk of plastic. That would have made him tie a little bit harder with the old Fred. But this guy is just basically a Halo Heroes figure. He he basically is. There's the just the amount of print. It's just so good. The knives on his shoulders. So well done. So... I would say if you can get your hands on this Fred, definitely do that. Um, actually, let me go ahead and grab. So here's like the new Linda. He even looks pretty nice next to the new version of Linda. There's Kelly. Although, like I said, we are getting a version of Kelly from Halo Legends. So this is mostly a stand-in until that figure releases. And then just for kicks, here is the... Halo Infinite Chief. This is the Warthog Rally version. I don't know. They look pretty nice side by side. Color wise. Even though this guy should be in here instead. Yeah. So I would say if you can get your hands on this Fred. Definitely go ahead and do that. He is a fantastic figure. You will not regret it. But if all you're able to get your hands on is this Fred. I don't think that's a bad thing at all. Sometimes with these comparisons. It's like one figure is clearly the better option. But it almost just comes down to preference for these two. Like I said, this guy does have more, like, just better production overall. But they're so different. They could almost be different characters at this point. And the newer Fred is obviously going to be a lot easier to get your hands on because the set is still in stores, still available on Amazon. You can get it all over the place. So, in my opinion, this guy is cooler, but just by a little bit just just a little bit he's not he doesn't absolutely blow this guy out of the water this fred is still the new one is still relevant still worth getting your hands on you just have to know that his shoulders mega kind of went a little lazy with them 
Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and consider subscribing, and I'll see you next time.